The person we're going to be talking about today has been hitting headlines a lot recently, but not for any good reasons. The person we're going to be talking about today is Tiffany Henyard, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. Henyard often refers to herself as super mayor, the people's mayor, and the most powerful woman in the Southland of Chicago. And a quote she loves to say is, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. So remember, I love y'all. There ain't nothing you can do about it. But before we get into the Tiffany Henyard that most people know, and that's being talked about the most on YouTube and media outlets, let's get into some of her background before she became the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. Tiffany grew up in Dalton, graduated from Thornridge High School. She often loves to use the term, I grew here, they flew here, when referring to people she feels doesn't care about Dalton in the same magnitude as she does. Henyard attended Robert Morris University, Illinois, where she acquired a degree in business administration. Henyard noted that she decided to get into politics while attending a block club party where residents were voicing their concerns about the streets not being fixed, potholes, and there were complaints about water bills. Henyard said, I noticed that they needed a voice of reason, and I had to be that voice for my neighborhood, for my block, and for my family. Henyard's first introduction into government and politics was when she began working with Illinois' then-governor Pat Quinn during his Put Illinois to Work initiative. Now, most of us who have seen videos of Henyard online through media know what a lot of people are saying about her as mayor, but who was Tiffany Henyard as a trustee? During her time as a trustee, Henyard would constantly challenge the previous mayor, Riley Rogers, and was a known critic of his. At one point, Henyard and several other trustees launched a legal challenge to block the ballot measures championed by Rogers from appearing on the ballots. Although their challenge was unsuccessful, both ballot measures failed before voters. Until this very day, Henyard will proudly talk about how she fought against the corruption of the previous administration when she was a trustee. As a trustee, Henyard was insistent on ensuring that the mayor was not overtaxing the residents. She would lecture the mayor about him not sending the trustees the financial information before the meetings, stating that they needed time to look over and digest the bills before voting on them. Henyard would also call out others, like the police chief, for not doing enough research on a specific towing company that she didn't think the village should be endorsing. But instead of talking to him about it like an adult, she would do research before getting to the meeting and put him on blast in a sort of gotcha moment. As a trustee, Henyard would also make sure she appealed to the older residents of Dalton by addressing issues that she knew would get them on her side such as directing them to the right resources for their housing issues and going against pay increases for certain city employees to keep tax costs down for the residents. During her time as a trustee, Tenure was also involved in two other business ventures that would eventually turn sour. One of them was being the owner of a Good Burger located at South Suburban College. The college threatened to cancel this contract with Tiffany Henyard for failing to pay rent for two years, then writing a bounced check. There were several agreements made between Henyard and South Suburban College for her to keep her contract with the school, which she neglected to follow through with. Some of the agreements she neglected to follow through with were failure to get approval from the college for management they hired, failure to provide some kind of nutritional options on the menus, failure to provide sanitation reports on the cafe, and failure to pay sales commission to the college, which was 16% of profit from all vending sales. Henyard ended up writing a check for $1,000 to pay the outstanding vending sales bill to the college, but it was returned, bounced, for insufficient funds. As a result of all these violations, Henyard's Good Burger business was involuntarily dissolved on October 14, 2022 for not meeting the necessary standards to stay open. Henyard's other failed business venture was in August 2019, where Henyard was the owner and landlord of a property that she received Section 8 housing subsidies from. The property was found to have severe mold and water leakage issues. 
Henyard's tenant accused her of not taking care of these issues, which would eventually force her tenant to move out of the house after it was deemed uninhabitable. Also, during Henyard's tenure as a trustee, she was arrested on July 20th, 2016 and charged with criminal trespass to vehicles. Even through this, she was able to keep her spot on the board of trustees and she would then go on to run for mayor of Dalton, Illinois. Henyard ran for and was elected mayor of Dalton, Illinois in 2021. During her campaign run, she prided herself on being transparent and accountable, saying, I post every single thing that relates to our government, whether it's an RFP we have, water shutoffs, town hall meetings, anything. I will continue to do the same. At a 2021 event meant to jumpstart her mayoral campaign, Tiffany gave away free gas to Dalton residents. This caught the attention of some legal experts who told a local news media source that Henyard's free gas giveaway was legally questionable and could be seen as vote buying. This observation of Henyard's questionable campaign maneuvers was only the beginning of the media firestorm that would soon follow once she got into the position as mayor of Dalton. Henyard was sworn in as mayor on May 8, 2021, becoming the first female mayor of the village of Dalton, as well as the youngest in its history at age 37 and Henyard would often throw this achievement out many times in Dalton Village board meetings during her back and forths with some of the village trustees that she didn't get along with. Henyard's back and forths with some of the trustees stems from accusations that she is doing the exact same things she accused the previous administration of doing, such as not being transparent with the village credit card statements. Another ridiculous claim of the use of the village's credit card. The village credit card is used by every department in the village of Dalton and is not solely assigned to me for my personal use. I do not handle anything as it relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting, I do not handle And not getting the information to the trustees before they are expected to vote on certain bills and ordinances. Henyard is often criticized by some of the trustees for her lavish and reckless spending of taxpayer dollars. Some of the spending concerns they brought up during board meetings included the following. What she spent on her inauguration speech. Henyard spent $14,000 when previous administrations would spend about $1,000. Fireworks. Henyard was asked to spend $5,000, but she ended up spending $7,000. Christmas tree for a Dalton event. Henyard originally wanted to spend $50,000 on a tree from New York, but the board turned it down because at that time, the village was in a $3.4 million deficit. Henyard also spent $65,000 on Christmas lights. She spent $19,800 for 122 banners where her face was the majority of the banner. Now I wonder where these banners are gonna go. Somebody tell me. With little advertisement on them. Henyard also used the village credit card to lease a Chevy Tahoe for $150,000. And these same trustees say that there are several other unexplained purchases and bills they need more clarity and transparency on in order to make better informed decisions when it comes to spending the taxpayers' dollars. The trustees that are now going against Henyard were the same trustees that ran on her ballot for mayor. The relationship between Henyard and these trustees soon turned sour within months of her tenure as mayor. It was reported in the news that Henyard had locked the trustees out of their offices and had canceled several board meetings. While on the other hand, the mayor would accuse the trustees of having what she called secret squirrel meetings without her being present. A lot of the meetings involving the trustees with the mayor present often ended in bickering and arguing back and forth. And on more than one occasion, the mayor accused the trustees of always grandstanding. In one meeting, she would attempt to shame them by yelling at them, saying the following, you all forgot I'm the leader. They want to hear from the mayor. You all ain't learned that yet. The mayor, not the trustees that don't do nothing. They only run their mouth. You all don't do no work, no work. She also added, you all are black and you all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. I could go on and on about how many times they have argued back and forth during their board meetings, but we would be here all day, so let's move on. Recall attempt. 
there was an attempt to recall Tiffany Henyard as mayor of Dalton. In April 2022, the Board of Trustees added two questions to the ballots. The first question was to establish a recall mechanism and the second was to recall Henyard. And although 56.5% of voters voted to establish the recall mechanism and 56.1% of voters voted to recall Henyard, an Illinois court ruled it illegal to add both of these things to the ballot at the same time. So in order for the recall to happen, the trustees would have had to establish the recall mechanism first, and then about six months later, they would have had to do another vote for recall. Thus, Henyard was able to keep her seat as mayor, and the trustees learned a valuable lesson. Thornton Township Supervisor Henyard was sworn in as the supervisor of Thornton Township on March 3, 2022, after the death of its former supervisor, Frank Zuccarelli. She was appointed and sworn in as a supervisor of the Thornton Township in a vote that took place close to a legal deadline for the board to fill the position. Henyard was chosen over eight other individuals nominated for the position and is the youngest person, the first woman, and the first African-American supervisor of Thornton Township. The majority of the Thornton Township Board are political allies of Henyard, which is a stark contrast to her amount of critics on the Dalton Village Board of Trustees. During her time as Thornton Township Supervisor, Henyard has been accused of promoting herself using township resources. She has spent $22,000 on billboards, bearing a huge image of herself with advertisement for services put into tiny writing on the bottom. Also, as Thornton Township Supervisor, Henyard renamed an existing program called the Zuccarelli Assistance Program to the Henyard Assistance Program. The program gives teenagers above the age of 16 summer jobs mowing the lawn of senior citizens. Henyard also presented the township's General Assistance Department funds as a $1 million giveaway on Facebook. When she received backlash about how the township could not afford to give away a $1 million, Henyard backtracked and said the Facebook post was meant to hype the General Assistance Fund and that it was not actually a contest. In April 2023 and March 2024, Henyard presented voters with a ballot that would create a 0.15% township property tax that was geared toward mental health services. It was estimated that the tax would generate $3 million annually. Voters rejected the proposal by a vote of 51% to 49%. Ahead of the March 2024 vote, 11 mayors out of the 17 municipalities in the township signed an open letter asking residents to vote against the mental health bill. The mayor said they were concerned about how the funds would be spent due to lack of transparency from Henyard, and voters would once again reject the proposal for mental health services. Also during her time as supervisor of Thornton Township, Hanyard passed an ordinance that would pay any future township supervisors less than what she earns now. So effectively, the new supervisor will be making $200,000 less than what Hanyard is now making. And many are saying that this move will deter future opposition when it comes to re-election for the township supervisor position. Tiffany Hanyard. This name has been associated with several other controversies that I will be addressing in future videos. But for now, I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide what are your opinions of this mayor? Is she really the people's mayor? Is she really a super mayor? And is she really the most powerful woman in the Southland of Chicago? I can't wait to hear your opinions and thank you for watching.